And welcome back guys, JVEDS here. In today's video we are in a very familiar area. Everyone is going to know this spot here. I personally am not a big fan of it, but uh, everyone keeps telling me to come here anytime I make a fishing video. So we're at Ring Neck Creek, guys, everyone knows. Now this spot used to be really good. All you do is either, if you wanted to, you could plop down a carcass right beside where I am to block any fish that came down. Then you would take your rod out like so, put a lure on, cast into the water, and then fish would start spawning all over the place. Very nice spot back in the day, and I remember it quite well. I have made a video on it in the past as well. But all we would have to do is cast in the water, and then fish would start spawning in this little creek and beach themselves along it. Now back in the day, there would be bass all lined up this creek. So many that you'd be able to fill your satchel super fast. There is one right there. And I'm not really seeing a whole lot more than just that one. Now to me, one fish isn't really worth uh, waiting around. So we could go back down and do another cast. And maybe another fish might drop in. We'll go ahead and pick this guy. Is that? No, that's not him. Use your eagle eye, guys. It makes it a hell of a lot easier. I actually like coming here at night if you are going to do it. Um, it makes the fish finding a little bit easier. Uh, so we'll just go down. We'll do another cast and see if uh, maybe more fish will spawn in for us here. Now, this is what I did many, many months ago, and it worked very well. And there used to be tons of little bass rolling around. But uh, they've had many, many patches over the months, uh, such as Stillwater Creek. Uh, that used to be a very luscious spot. Um, I made many videos off of that one as well, and that one is no longer available for us. They have definitely patched a lot of the good uh, little honey holes for our fish. So let's just wait a second here. We'll keep walking up, see if anything else spawns in. You can even take a little run up to the pond up top because I used to do a lot of fishing just up in the pond and there is tons of bass in there as well. Obviously that's where they're coming from, from the creek here. There's another one there. Despite the looks of it, I can't really get more than one to spawn at a time. Um, so to me, that's not really a luscious spot. Um, I don't really want to waste too much time. Uh, I'm not going to do any cutting at all throughout this video. It's going to be uh, all real time from me dinking around trying to get some fish to spawn. Um, so if you guys have some different things that you may do to try to get fish spawn, let me hear about them. I'd definitely like to know. Uh, if any of you guys are still using this spot and it's a lot more popping than this, let me know as well because uh, it may depend on what console we're on. Um, may depend on what server we're in, possibly, I guess, but I doubt it. So I'm just going to wander around, nothing past uh, our little starting point there. That's why I usually put a carcass there back in the day, but that was when carcass fishing was also around. That's how long ago uh, I was using this spot, um, very long ago. Uh, but anyways, let's hope we can get more than one at a time to spawn for us here. Um, if we can't, we're going to run up to the top pond there, and we're going to see if anything is even up there for us to get um, with our pole. Um, and I'm going to completely bust this spot for everyone here, so everyone can not waste your time. Oh, there's the one. So far, one spawn. Let's see if we can at least get two off of this walk here. Get the old eagle eye. Hopefully something pops up. I'm not seeing nothing. You do miss them every once in a while. Don't get me wrong. But uh, there isn't a whole lot down here, guys. I'm really thinking this spot busted. It's been patched or something because it sucks. But anyways, we're going to go up to the pond up here and see if uh, there's still tons of bass up in the ponds because... This is what's... What in the hell? Get the... You son of a... <laughs> Holy! 
That guy just came out of nowhere. You son of a bitch scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's get back to the old test of this area here. Um, there's probably a lot of deer. Obviously, I'm in his home right now, and he didn't want me here trying to buck me. As I fluff with my buttons here, guys. Uh, oh, great. Didn't work. Let's fluff some more. Here we go. Yep. Sorry, that deer got me a little bit flustered. Trying to buck me into the water or something. Uh, let's see if we got some bass up in here, guys. I'm really hoping we do. I don't want to get this spot completely. It's going to put that three fish. I've been here for uh, five minutes almost already. Damn. Five minutes at any of my fishing spots, I would have had half my satchel filled up already. And any of you know that, that's for sure. I don't know why I'm talking. My Sunday morning fishing show voice comes out here and there, guys. Sorry. Uh, it's hard for me to control it. It just comes in and out of me. I just can't control it. This is going to be a little bit of a weird video because it's different. Normally, I make videos on uh, good spots and how to make money and... Uh, you know, catching fish every cast and bringing in fish, you know, quickly. Um, this spot here, guys, is most certainly not any of that. This is not one of my regular spots. This is why I don't come here. Tons of fish in there. Little guys. If you got some dynamite, you can throw some dynamite in there and get some XP from that. But that's uh, pretty much all you're going to get from this spot here, guys. Um, we'll do a little bit more investigating, though. I'm going to spend a little bit of time to keep trying different things. Maybe if I can bring some fish up in here. The river lure is definitely a lure to use. But uh, over the months, guys, like I said, I used this spot almost a year ago. So um, I could only imagine that they obviously fixed it. Giving you one or two fish here and there. They're just teasing you. But again, I want to know if uh, the spot is working for you guys. Oh, no, this is my deer floating there. Because if it is working for you and I'm doing something wrong or something, let me know what it is. I would love to hear it. Because uh, I'm just using the same old methods that we always use, which is pretty simple. Cast into the water, let the fish spawn in, and simply let them beat them, beach themselves. Um, well, that method is not working here, and it does not work anymore, so don't waste your time in coming here. If you want to find good fishing spots, I got all kinds of them on the channel. Or there's all kinds of them on YouTube, or there's all kinds of them all over the map. You can go and search and pretty much cast anywhere you want to, and have some fish spawn in for you. Now, some spots are definitely more abundant than others, but... In the most cases, if you're in a big lake or body of water, not something like this, uh, you're going to get some fish that spawn in for you. But we'll go back down here and see if uh, maybe we can catch a few more. I don't know, I think we might get the one more that does the spawn in when you take the rod out down at this end. But maybe it might be different now that we're playing around up in that end. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put the old busted sign on this uh, location. Any of you that want to use it, more than welcome to, of course. Uh, it is an excellent hunting location. Uh, it has tons of deer, uh, little coons and rabbits, and all different types of little critters all around the area. Uh, lots of turkeys, uh, actually, as well. Uh, I got some coyotes or a fox. Can't remember what I killed earlier, but I got one of them on back of my horse but uh... i don't know let's uh, see if we can get at least a couple more and then we're gonna put this to an end here obviously nothing spawning in for us guys in this spot it is trash in my eyes um, again if you want to prove me wrong or you guys still using it and you find it profitable uh... please let me know i'm more than welcome to hear about it and there's our one fish score two dollars again if you fill up like I'm pretty sure I just maxed out right there if you do end up filling up 
while you're doing something like this guys and you do have the ability to step on the fish um, you can do so or again that's where your dynamite comes in you can blow them all up which takes away their three star level so they'll have a new slot in your satchel so you'll be able to fit a lot more um, they're not worth as much of course but you'll be able to take a few more home um, and if you don't have the ability to do that and you already have them in the satchel you can of course turn them into flakes and you'll be able to fit more that way as well but anyways guys I am gonna put an end to this uh, this was my 10 minute test and it totally failed uh, we got maybe three or four or five fish something like that not too many um, but if this does uh, help you out anyway so you don't waste your time coming here uh, please share like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one peace